Hi Anthony, it's great to have you here at the gallery um, during our Meander show featuring you and Desmond Kenny, featuring both of your uh, recent works. Um, I'd like to ask you a few questions about your work that is featured here, but also your practice in general. Um, first of all, I'd like to know how lockdown affected your art practice and art making. Um, did anything change? Um, did you start making something new? Did you thinking about making change? Can you talk about, about that a little bit? Yeah, um, well, lots of things changed in terms of time um, and the, the whole idea of being busy and being preoccupied. So, I think lockdown was, uh, gave, for, for me personally, it was a lot of freedom because I live in the countryside. Um, so, all the idea of having to do things started to change. So, and in my studio, um, um, I guess for the first time I had the, um, the, the space not to be under pressure to make finished things. So, it was this kind of time that time seems to extend and I think that has affected my, my actual art making but having said that I didn't manage to complete anything you know I've, I've started many things and I, um, I've, I think I've become more ambitious in what I want to do because I've had the time to kind of play with work um, and there's lots of different ideas emerging but nothing that I could say well I did this over lockdown and I'm so it has been a really um, interesting time, a bit like going back before when one was in college or something when you had this freedom to explore and, and really try things out. So it's been, it's been good in that respect, yeah. Mm. Did you come across any limitations or any obstacles in your making? Um, you didn't have, you don't have, printmakers don't have the access to the studio at the moment. Yeah, yeah, so, did you yeah. experience any any uh, restrictions like that? Well, not, not really, um, because I, I, I haven't been printmaking before this show. I was um, doing a lot of drawing and and I started making wood blocks to sort of get back into colour and printmaking. So just the way I work is mostly through drawing to begin with. So there was there was no obstacle, it's just the different sort of ideas that were um, battling in my head that um, were, were the main obstacles and, and trying to kind of complete things as well. Yeah. Now when you mention it, can you talk a little bit about why you choose to work in printmaking and uh, more particularly woodblock yeah. and how does your work that you do in other mediums uh, reflect or translate into printmaking? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, printmaking is... Uh, I've always had a, an attraction to printmaking um, since being in college So and, and then being part of a print studio I joined the, the, the Black Church in, I think, 1989 to do an etching course. Um, so it's always been important and it, it has given me that kind of connection with other artists. Um, but I, I moved down to County Carlo in you know, early 2003. I built a house there. So I haven't really been in a print studio since, since then, really. Well, till, since 2006. Um, and Drawing became my main practice um, and I was making very large drawings that were very repetitive and black and white. It was like I, I couldn't... Black and white uh, and layering became my medium. And I think that the, 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 when I... The woodblock was a way of trying to bring colour back into my work and, and, and trying a different medium. And similar to drawing that, again, I'm repeating marks or cutting out this sort of time uh, process. And also I can do it at home on my own. I don't need a print studio. So it's, it's quite, um, well, self, you know, self-sufficient. Yeah, so that, that, that's really why I went back into woodblock. And I've always loved the, the idea of seeing the wood 
in the print. I think I, I, I can remember seeing Richard Corman, he did a big red print years and years ago and it, it, it triggered something in me. So I, I think I was sort of influenced by that. Uh, yeah. And when it comes to uh, your subject matter, your work is abstract. So what are you thinking about when you're making a work and how you decide what kind of mark making you will use, what color you will use, what density? How does your thinking about um, that work? Um, well, the, my drawings were repetitive, using very small marks and layering the marks. And I, I kind of have sort of brought that into the, wood, the, the, the printmaking in the sense I use, usually use a fine mark and, uh, and I repeat it. But, um, the the patterns or the the, the image um, comes from a kind of a, a, comes from uh, drawing again, but it, it's often a more free flowing drawing than the, the very busy drawings that I made in the um, the large pieces. And I I think I'm informed by my environment and the space around me. So that's really, and then the texture again is the wood, and then that's, they're quite simple in some sense. Um, I guess it's uh, reflective of some pattern in nature, and, and again time becomes an important element um, of getting into a space or a zone where you repeat something and gradually the image begins to emerge. I think making prints always gives you that excitement of actually, make, you know, what happens when you print the image because it's often quite different from how you visualize, and that's the sort of kick I get out of printmaking. Mm. And the prints that we have here today, for example, the one behind you, would you like to talk about that particular print? Or? It's done almost from like a, a, a doodle or. Um, an image, a very kind of loose sort of drawing done with a felt marker, which I drew directly onto the, um, the the block of wood, and then and then then I invested in the time in cutting it out. And I think for this particular image, it gives space, whereas um, most of my work, um, which you can see in the gallery, is very busy. So I turn, tend to put a lot into the work. So this is slightly different from my normal work, but it, but it relates quite nicely to the idea of the pattern and the flow. And rhythm, you know, rhythm is quite important in my work. Uh, looking at your work, it, they, they, they have a very meditative effect. They evoke a feel of calm or, you know, uh, being absorbed in it and following all the movements and all the little marks. Is the making process also meditative? Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly meditative, but um, but once I start the piece, it's like I just keep going, you know. So um, I guess I'm. Uh, it's it's more compulsive to to keep going than meditative. I, I, I would like it to come across as meditative, but it, it, is, it is, it it it's addictive in the sense that I usually just keep going and going with with the cutting. Um, so that's really my, my, the more compulsive nature of the work. I think is what's happening, <laughs> mm -hmm. as you can probably see from the busier pieces as well. Mm. And. Um, Hearing you describing the way you make work and um, the way the process making works, it's very similar to how Des Kenny, who's here within the show, makes work um, in a way where he keeps building up the composition and uh, he keeps adding more and more layers, also in a kind of compulsive way. Mm. How do you think? the works relate to each other or your and this is practice, do you think you have something in common? Well, I think they're both, I mean, they're, busy, they're both of us work in quite a busy way, 
and, and I can I see that there are similarity in marks and loops and I, I can see the, the layering in Des's work that um, happens in my work, maybe not to such an extent and I think the colour palette is different but yeah, I, there are a lot of similarities I think with, it, with, with us both, yeah. Um, and drawing I think is important to us both. Um, maybe for the end you can tell me what are you working on now? Yeah, okay. Well, um, the, the, the piece, the first piece in this room is, is, is not strictly a print, it's more a collage or a painting and um, uh, it's, a, it's a lot less controlled and probably more vibrant and it was, it was quite a release for me to start working in that way. It was like going back to painting. So, um, I am working in that manner, but I'm also working on some wood blocks that are, you know, twice the size of the ones in, 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 the, in the studio. So I'm enlarging my ideas and also including collage and, um, yeah, maybe more than one plate. So, so that's really what, where the work is going. So it's sort of loosened up a lot. Um, since the collage pieces that were, were completed for this show. It relates back to um, my background being brought up in Africa, so, so that, that was a nice reintroduction of that influence. Mm. And you mentioned the size now. Um, most of your work is large scale, mm. but you have recently done a series of small wood blocks that are also here in the show. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about them a little bit? Yeah, um, well, I think that the smaller wood blocks relate more to my black and white drawings and um, are a very a kind of intangible um, images that um, they're a bit like weavings, and that also was what my drawings were trying to. Um, Get the sense of coming and going and the in-between spaces as, as things emerge. And with the small wood block you can get a very delicate line and um, they're also a joy to make because you can make them very quickly and, and um, yeah, what else can I say about them? Um, Were they a sort of a study for bigger prints? Um, not really, they were, they're a way of learning the technique when I first started. And um, I did do a project with the, the Limestones artists where we, we, we took uh, a woodblock this size and every artist made some images. So it's a really continuation of that project. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely way of working, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, is there anything else you would like to talk about? Yeah, I suppose this is the first time I've been in the gallery seeing the work, so it, it's really, I haven't really kind of um, had a chance to um, immerse myself in this space with the work and, 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 and see how it's talking back to me. Also, it's, it's been such a long time since the work was put up initially. So it's quite a shock, you know, sort of being reintroduced to what I did and, and then trying to figure out that's, that's, that's my work and, and what is it saying, so, <laughs> yeah. Mm. So that's quite strange. <laughs>